Good day everyone! For today's lesson, I am going to discuss to you about permutation formula. Okay, so during the quarantine period, you have decided to clean your room, you found the following items. Okay, so suppose you want to store each of these items in a box. Okay, so there are eight items to be placed, but you only have three boxes. Where only one thing can be placed in each box. So how many options do you have if you are going to choose three according to its importance? Okay, so sa first box, sa first box, mayroon tayong eight choices pa dito sa ating items. Okay, so eight choices pa meron sa first box. Then, sa second box, we only have seven choices left. And then, in the third box, we only have now six choices left. Okay? Kasi dito sa first box, 8 choices pa, kompleto pa sila. Kung nakapili ka na ng isa, so dito sa second box, 7 choices left na lang. Then kung nakapili ka na ng isa, pagdating sa third box, 6 choices left na lang. Okay? So, we determine that there are 3 events here and each event is where an item will be placed in an empty box. So, by the fundamental counting principle, there are 8 times 7 times 6 permutations. Okay? So, observe that 8 times 7 times 6 can be expressed as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial which is equal to 8 factorial over 5 factorial. Okay? So, what does 8 and 5 represent? 8 represents the number of items you choose from, while 5 represents the remaining items that were not chosen. Okay, again, what does 8 and 5 represent? 8 represents the number of items you choose from, while 5 represents the remaining items that were not chosen. And this can be denoted in permutation notation as Okay, so P quantity of N, comma, then R equals N factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial where n and r are positive integers and r is less than or equal to n but greater than or equal to 1 yung ating r okay and itong p quantity of n comma then r is read as permutation of n objects taken r at a time. So, ito yung ating formula ng ating permutation. Okay? So, again, yung P kanina, yung ating formula dyan is permutation of n objects taken r at a time equals n factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial. So, other notations for this, we have n, then p, r, and p, quantity of, nasa taas yung n, then nasa baba yung r. Magkakapareho lang to sila. Okay? Magkakapareho lang yan. Same lang yan sila. So, next. Okay, so from our given example, if we use the permutation formula, to determine the number of possible ways of storing 8 things, yung n natin dito is 8, then yung r equals 3. Okay, then we apply it to our formula, which is P, okay, uh, permutation, 
of eight objects taken three at a time equals okay n factorial de ba yun yung ating formula n factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial so is substitute natin dito yung ating n at saka yung value ni n at saka ni r so this will become 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial. So, unahin muna natin itong nasa baba. I-simplify muna natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, this will become 8 factorial over 5 factorial. ba? And then, uh, i-rewrite natin yung 8 factorial with a factor 5 factorial. So, 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 5 factorial. So, i-cancel na natin to. Yung 5 factorial, cancel na yan. So, ang matitira na lang dito is 8 times 7 times 6. And the answer is 8 times 7 times uh, 6. So, i-multiply natin. That is equal to 336. Okay, so the answer is 336. Okay, so the number of possible ways of storing 8 things is 336. The number of possible ways of storing 8 things. Okay? Okay.